Swipe left, someone said something stupid. Swipe right now, I'm watching what you did. Five foot down, now I'm at a disadvantage. But I think. What is going on, bro? Welcome to Miami, the next stop on our USA trip. It's gonna be a few wild days here, so I'm gonna take y'all along. There's gonna be not just like one or two, but several special guests that you guys probably follow and are familiar with coming up. And ready, this is gonna be the Airbnb for the week here. I booked it because of this room. Look at that, big windows, city views, a bunch of natural light. So what I can do is take this table here, put it over there, dope little podcast studio. We have a kitchen here that's kind of old school. Uh, it doesn't really matter because I don't cook. Julia's not here, so I'm not even gonna be using it. This is the master bedroom suite here. Big king bed, big old bathroom. It's kind of unnecessary, but there's actually a whole nother master bedroom suite here. Even though one night, I do think we're gonna have a guest who stays here. So this will be his bedroom or, or her bedroom and their bathroom as well. Thank you. So first stop is this tall ass building on top of me here. We're going up to the 45th floor and I'm actually running late. This is like a live podcast I'm hopping on. So I feel kind of like a dick and this is not the entrance. Oh, <laughs> what's good man? What's good, bro? Brandon Carter, bro. You know what it is? Man, we, ne we never met before, brother. It doesn't feel like it. I feel like, like I've known you since 2015 or some yeah. shit. <laughs> the elevator comes right to your apartment, bro? Well, that's that's what happens when you ball it. You know <laughs> so this is the kitchen. You know what I'm saying? And then we got dinner for after this. My girl got some pizza. I got just the wings. Keto. I'll be out here working on this shit in front of the, the ocean. That's the one thing about Miami, bro. Every apartment has the craziest views. This the other view. The other other view. The other other view. <laughs> and it wraps around, so you can still get this one too. Oh, and damn, you can see bro. The other balcony that we was just on. It's funny how life works. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> And motherfuckers like him, man, they fucking made it difficult to be a content creator. That's why I had to take some time off, because he had fucking... It was a, a vlog about building muscle, and this motherfucker got drones and shit. And I'm like, fuck, I'm... <laughs> I'm using... I'm sneaking in the gym in New York <laughs> to talk about some shit or just yelling at a webcam. He's flying fucking drones around. <laughs> he made it real difficult by upping the bar so much. <laughs> How to beast. I just call you how to beast instead of David That's all fine. the time, man. Man, when people recognize me a lot of times, they don't, they just call me beast. Like, Yo, you're that beast. You're the, you're the beast guy. That's fine, man. Yeah, man. It's not a bad thing to be called. Nah, you that nigga from YouTube. That's what they say for me. <laughs> <laughs> man, no, no, one, no one's told me that. You don't, you, you don't hear that? I hear yeah, that I've all the that, time. Yeah. No I've one says that, that to that. you? All right. Nah, maybe one day. <laughs> Podcast complete. I got to say, Brandon is, he's a good dude. We were laughing, like hard laughing a lot. And now it's already time to meet up with the next, the next special guest. You guys know this one. He's back. Let's go. Mr. Jay Waller back in the house here. Yeah, we here. Bro, that first podcast, we had first podcast episode I ever uploaded. It got like a half a million views, bro. Did it? Yeah. Bro, I need to watch it again, bro. I watched it when it first came out, bro. I mean, you're not gonna lie, we were, I mean, you were there. Yeah, I was, man, but you know. I like the G-Wagon, man. Thanks, bro. So tonight, Justin's taking me on a little date to his favorite spot, Negroni. Is this where you take all your days? <laughs> Can I disclose, my friend? <laughs> Can I disclose? You're the only dude I've ever bought to Negroni. <laughs> I'll, I'll take that as a compliment. I take that as a compliment. It's a half-ass compliment. <laughs> Got a spicy margarita, a shit ton of different sushi rolls. And ready, now we're at Justin's apartment here in Miami. Look at this view of the city. So last video, I was telling y'all, hypothetically, if we move back to the States from Spain, oh, which is go. not in the cars, but it would either be shit, Texas yeah. or Florida. What do you think about living in Miami? I think that if you're in America, man, Miami is a place to be. I, lo I love Miami. You know how cities have like an energy about them. There's an energy about Miami I really, really like. I think it's inspirational. It's a great place to be. The only problem is you, you've been to Marbella. Oh, and we're still, we're, still, we're still waiting on you to buy the house there, man. Always with this. Always with <laughs> this, man. Always with this. You fool me twice. So you already know, we gotta compare the morning ocean cold plunge here to Marbella. <sighs> the water is way warmer here, which feels nice, but not ideal for a cold plunge. There's also like a lot of seaweed, a lot of seaweed in this water. That still feels amazing though. And I definitely grabbed a hand towel instead of like a, a body towel to dry off, but it's 
pretty sunny out. I think we'll be all right. This is nice, man. I think if we if we did have to come back to the States for unforeseen circumstance, Florida probably is edging out Texas in the current rankings. And Julia's gonna be pissed that I'm even still having this conversation because we're staying in Spain. But next time we come back to the States, I'm gonna have to bring her through Miami for sure. So what we have here is a much needed upgrade for the podcast. It's called the Rode Soundcaster Pro 2. And it's basically a big ass board that you plug the microphones into right there. Up until now, I've been plugging the mics directly into my MacBook laptop through USB-C. But we have an episode today with two guests. We're gonna need three separate mics. And just like that, the mobile podcast studio is good to go. Bro, I am exhausted. This Airbnb mattress is shit. I did not sleep that well last night. It really makes me miss my Helix mattress. And luckily for all of you, today's video is sponsored by Helix. In case you're not familiar, Helix Sleep makes premium mattresses customized to fit your needs and conveniently shipped right to your door. It all starts with the Helix Sleep Quiz that matches you to the perfect mattress based on your body type and sleep preferences. So for example, I alternate between sleeping on my back and my side. I prefer a medium firm mattress and based on that, I got matched with the Midnight Lux mattress. I've had mine for over two years now and it's changed the game for me. It's more comfortable, I fall asleep faster, I tend to be a hot sleeper, it keeps me cool at night. It's awesome. And the best part is Helix delivers the mattress right to your door with free shipping in the US. It comes rolled up in a box and is super easy to set up. There's even a hundred night sleep trial to test out the mattress and be sure that you love it. And all Helix mattresses come back with a 10 year warranty and they even offer flexible payment plans. Honestly, there's not too many things that are more important than our sleep quality. So if you're looking for a new bed, I would highly recommend Helix. And because they're sponsoring today's video, you can go to helixsleep.com slash beast to get 20% off your mattress plus two free pillows. Just click that first link in description to take your sleep gains to the next level. So I'm gonna Uber on the way to the gym now, sipping on a hefty double scoop of that Gains Club Beast Fuel pre-workout because I've already done one podcast today and then I got Fresh and Fit coming over to my studio to do a podcast. Then I'm heading over to do their regular show. Then I think we're doing like the late night show with the girls after that. So I need this shit to bring me back to life. You're on the clock, bro. You're on the clock. I feel awful, man. I've been late to everything since You're I've been late to everything. Bro, it took 30 bro. minutes to get here from Brickle. Like, Andy moved the time 30 minutes. Let's go. <laughs> So this gym is called Boxer Super Dope Gym. It's got like a Lambo when you walk in. It's loud as hell in here. And this guy just wants to do arms. I guess I'm being lazy. We're gonna do a full body. All right, full body it is. Oh, this, I remember this shit. Oh, this is that team. Okay, all right, let's do it. All right. I'm the dope dealer around here, man. I gotta bring that good good around for everybody. Brandon, what do we say after a workout, bro? I'm saying, I don't know. What do we say? <laughs> Justin, me. what do you say? You got me workout. on this shit in Spain, but now it is workout complete. Oh. Gains, bro. Workout Still complete. Good. Gains, bro. Still missed. Get a couple losers <laughs> over here, man. <laughs> <laughs> now, real quick, I want to ask y'all. Top three things a guy needs to do in his 20s to have success, wealth, women, money, everything in his 30s. I think in your 20s, man, you got to really focus on getting money. You know what I'm saying? I don't think that's come as a surprise. Anybody knows me, that's what I'm gonna say. But that's when you have the most vigor, the most vitality. So you should be working like 12 hours a day, seven days a week. That's what I did. And I was able to make six figures those years, doing blue collar jobs, moving companies, you know, where I was managing a restaurant. And I lived off half my income, saved the other half. So I had 100K saved up and I was able to like invest that in my business. And then in my 30s, that business started to materialize. But if you squander your 20s, on you know empty victories chasing dopamine then you're going to be 30 years old with nothing but a bunch of funny stories you know? what i would add to that is fitness i think that fitness makes the business actually easier mm. because you have all that energy in you and then once you start getting big i feel like people respect you mm. you know like it's easier to get a deal it's easier to sell yeah. with confidence you walk in a room people are like man 
that dude's got discipline. I trust what he says because I can see he keeps his promises to himself. Yeah. Definitely those two things and not getting women or chasing women, but just understanding how women operate, how they work. Understanding female nature, I think is really important because if not, all that work can kind of get train wreck if you get yourself in a bad spot. And, and, and I love women and we should always be respectful of women and things like that, but you need to understand them. Yeah. I, I respect the hoes too and shit. So uh, what you gotta <laughs> do is... <laughs> But look, you also gotta avoid the big mistakes, right? Like yeah. don't get arrested, right? Like stay out, stay out of fucking prison. <laughs> Yo, for real, don't have kids too yeah, early, yeah, right? Because yeah. you're gonna be slowed down when you have kids, right? Like, you know, when I had my son, he was planned. I realized that that was a trade-off I was making. I wasn't gonna be able to move as fast now that I have uh, a child that I, whose life I, I, I'm, I'm heavily involved in. So prioritize getting money, even if it's just grinding up low-wage jobs, grind up that savings, get fit, prioritize that shit, and then understand the hoes. Yeah. yeah, and don't don't make the big mistakes. Yeah. Stay out of fucking prison. You know what I'm saying? Stay and stay out the graveyard. Like I mean, it, it sounds easier than it is. Like I know a lot of my homies are dead or in jail. Like right now, when they went in when they were twenties, I got a friend here in Miami doing life in prison. Yeah, he killed those people, right? But don't do that. You know what I'm saying? Don't like be killing don't people, do that. Man. Don't 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 kill nobody. I literally got out of my Uber to walk because I'm running late for the next podcast, and all the traffic is like this. Now I'm gonna show up soaking wet, man. It's Miami weather. Hey, bro, doors unlocked, man. We're breaking in yeah, right man. now. Hey, two black minutes. <laughs> Are you scared, bro? You should be scared, bro. Uh, Give us all your stuff. <laughs> Fresh and fit, Walt and Myron, the OG womanizers. Yeah, we broke in, guys. Back in town, broken into my apartment. So I guess we'll sit down and do a podcast or something, man. You know, it's been really good to see y'all lately, just not getting into any beef with anyone, just really keeping everything clean. I, I'm gonna. Good seeing you guys stand out of trouble. <laughs> You're kidding, right? You wasn't joking. You gotta be joking. I'm joking, I'm joking, I'm joking. <laughs> Women are no longer traditional, but men are still expected to be traditional. And you got mainstream society telling them to be hoes. You got Sex in the City telling them to go out there and be single. Fresh and fit hate women. Wow, he just said that for real? Whoa! Right? <laughs> average women nowadays, regular girls, modern day women, have way more bodies than average dudes. Okay, now it can be an intelligent decision to settle down with a woman. Oh, you're misogynist. Define misogyny. Uh, 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 uh. Like, if that's a rabbit hole you gotta go down. Yeah. Right? You know, women are gonna be in the kitchen with aprons on and hmm. being a good dutiful wife. That's never happening, guys. If you're successful or you're on the way up, you're not smart about choice of women, it can destroy you completely. From one podcast to the next, so I just had fresh and fit on mine, now I'm back at their studio going on their show with just them then after that it's the late night show with the females podcasting it's exhausting bro because you have to be like on the whole time and you have to constantly get new guests which is like the main reason i'm here in miami because i could knock out uh brandon fresh and fit tomorrow we got another guest is coming through i genuinely hope you guys are enjoying this because on top of the other things it's uh it's a bit more effort than i thought it would be but yeah let's get this next fucking podcast let's go Casual McDonald's delivery at 1.56 a.m. in this makeshift podcast studio. And the funny thing is, the show with the girls, it went over two hours, and they actually ended it early for me. Like, they ended it early as a favor because I was so tired. Bro, water, McNuggets. They're seriously going to call this a medium french fry. It's like a half-empty small french fry, bro. Extra McNuggets that I didn't even order. They forgot my hamburger. Like, bro, they forgot my double... No, they didn't. No, they didn't. How did I miss it? Double cheeseburger. Oreo McFlurry. All I've had today is some protein bars and protein shakes, man. So I gotta, I gotta calorie up. This is a beautiful city, bro. And the Texas people are not gonna wanna hear this, but I think if we ever did have to move back to the States, it would be, it would be Miami. This is more like the vibe and the speed of life that Julie and I love. Not that we're moving back, we're not moving back. Also, same day this video goes live, the Fresh and Fit podcast goes live. It's cool because I challenge them on some of their more controversial beliefs, like why it seems they hate women. They challenge me a little bit on why I chose to get married. We get into their recent beef with Abba and Preach and just a lot of like the really harsh realities of the modern dating market. But before you watch that, do me a huge favor and drop me a comment. Let me know what are your thoughts on the podcast so far. Just like your general feedback. And if you haven't even watched a single episode yet, Bro, do me a big, 
fucking solid favor. Go watch one episode and let me know. Like, I've been blown away by how fast we've been getting serious views on the channel. And not only that, obviously that's good to see, but like I've really been enjoying sitting down, having these intimate conversations, meeting more people. So for me, it's been a super positive experience, but I'm genuinely curious for some like raw, honest feedback. That being said, you can click right there to watch that podcast episode now. Click down there to subscribe to the channel if you're new because I drop two new videos every single week. I'll talk to you in the next one. Stay beastly.